What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Big Bro and Losis Reacts. I'm Tamaj and this is Tam. Hey. And today we're on How to Get Away with Murder, Season 1, Episode 7. He deserved to die. So, obviously we're talking about Sandy. No, no, no. Sandy. That's how they, that's what they want you to think. We could be talking about All their, right, their latest case, case of the week. Murder. It could be really anything. Um, we might connect to both. It could be Sam, though. It could be something, um, what's his face? As Connor says in the flash forward. Stop. But, um, I mean, it could be, it's about two good things it could really be. Um, because the only person we know is dead is Sam. And the only other thing we know so far is they do a weekly case to case thing. Um, and it could be a murder this week. Um, but yeah, last we left off, Bonnie was sleeping with Asher. Um, Annalise calls Bonnie in panic because she, um, Seeing that her rug was missing, so she knew someone, right? And I, I also um, predicted that she watched the camera. She did. Um, and uh, present day, we were freeing a man who was wrongly accused. Um, and we got Rebecca back on board. So she said for now, anyway. So that's what we left off. So we're going to jump right in and see what they got. For one of the reactions are available on Patreon. Mm. And, um... The previous got fired. The search continues for Lila's vanguard. What happened? We found her in one of those water tanks. Afraid you'll kiss me and forget to close. Never happening again. Oh, that's new. We never seen her. What's it called? Bloody. So obviously it's Rebecca. That's why I'm like Wes, probably the one that killed him. Cause look at Rebecca. She all messed up. Rebecca did it, and that's Sam's blood. No, because they all would be, you know, fighting for her. No, I'm saying if he. They all did something. They ain't covered in blood, though. Maybe she killed him because he tried to do something to her. I don't know. Nothing until we get you out of here. Something ain't right with her, though. I've been thinking she was a strange character. But again, if I walked in and I seen this crazy girl and then murdered somebody, I'm out. I ain't got nothing to do with this. What? Thank you. And what they do with the bloody rags? I assume they brought them with them. Put it in a bag. I mean, like, if she did murder somebody or she was attacked, she ain't shook it up or nothing. Like, she just cool. And I don't know if she right in the head. Griffin called me around midnight. Two weeks, we closed. I could sell him, so I went to the frat house and sold him some coke and Molly. He invited me to hang out. So we started drinking, doing some lines, went up to his room, smoked a bowl. Next thing I know, we're kissing. Um, we had just started when Lila came in. Apparently I texted her, which I have no memory of. I just remember Lila yelling, hitting me. Griffin pulled her off. I tried to find her to explain what happened and apologize, but I couldn't until I got to the roof. And then I strangled her and stuffed her in a water tank. That's a joke. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are so gullible. <laughs> Rebecca, take this prep seriously or go to jail. Isn't it kind of your job to make sure that doesn't happen? You slut white trash killer. You made Griffin strangle that girl on the roof. You liked watching her die because that's a piece of garbage you are. That's what they're gonna say to you, but she ain't phased. That's what everyone in the world is gonna say about you. You don't care, neither do I. I'm not the one that's gonna be beaten, raped, and violated in jail. That's on you. Damn, she went in. Quick. She don't like Maybe in which they break. Five minutes and then we'll start again. She know how to put on a good show. Romeo saves Juliet again. Turn on the news. What is it? Sex is out of the bag. A witness has revealed new evidence that Rebecca Sutter and Griffin O'Reilly had sexual intercourse the night that Lila Standard was murdered. An anonymous source is claiming it was Miss Sutter who initiated the physical relationship, as Mr. O'Reilly had taken a vow of virginity. Call the judge and get a hearing for a gag order. You still feel like making jokes now? More and more like the story of a young love triangle. She's just not phased. I don't, 
Yeah. The prosecution is leaving gossip to the press in order to slut shame my that client. That is an offensive the jury pool. accusation. I hope for an immediate gag order. Speculating, Your Honor. My office had nothing to do with this. Really? O'Reilly and Sutter had sexual intercourse while high on cocaine, marijuana, and methamphetamines. And that's a direct quote from the detective statement in Discovery. He could have just as easily been Mr. O'Reilly and his counsel. Right, because releasing information that paints my client oh, as a born again Christian, as a drug taking sex crazed jock, serves our case. What, how? It doesn't matter who leaked it. Everyone knows that it's a woman who gets vilified in these scenarios. I don't have editorial control over the papers. Enough grandstanding. The public's appetite for this case could result in undue bias for the co defendants. Therefore, I'm granting the gag order. And from here on out, none of you or your clients speak to the press. There is one other motion I'd like to submit. It's time sensitive. My team's forensic expert reviewed the autopsy photos and discovered several overlooked red marks on the side of Miss Stangard's neck. They'll testify that these marks are fingernail puncture wounds left by the murderer. Since my client is a quarterback and keeps his nails clipped short, he did not leave those marks. What is the motion, Your Honor, or is Mr. Keegan need to just test We will to exhume Miss Stangard's body. We believe a second autopsy will point to Rebecca Sutter as a sole murderer. Ooh. Mr. Keegan is making a landish remarks in order to pure vitriol about my client. Lots of words. We'll have plenty of time to righteously object at the hearing tomorrow morning. We are adjourned. Tomorrow morning? Oh, uh, no. They got to pull all night And study for the eight other classes. Dig up her body. Won't she have turned into a jelly by now? A long corpse is for an overnight school. No filter. I find it sexy, creepy, or something like that. Hey. The colors are everywhere. Hey, you don't remember my name. No, I totally do. Uh, wow. And I thought I was a slut. Really? You've gotten naked with so many boys since Hacker broke your heart, you can't even remember their names? The important thing is they remember mine. Wait, you planted that phone in my car. Okay, like I know how to do that. Are you kidding to believe what you're saying? I'm laughing at how dumb you are. You already confessed to kill her. How dumb are you to think that you're going to get away with this? <laughs> 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 That's a trailer trash. Well, somebody finally hey, got a rise out of it. Is defendant harassing you? Because I would hate to have to file assault charges against Miss Sutter. But where I was standing, my client was defending herself against Mr. O'Reilly. And I had witnesses here who could testify to that. Oh, well, let's save the fun for the courtroom, shall we? Stay civilized, young lady. Yeah, at least she's, she's good. She's that shit down immediately. Honestly, makes me grateful for the miscarriages. Maybe. I'm serious. Imagine oh. having a child like that. That's going in the profile. Asking for that second autopsy was a brilliant move, and I'd done it myself. I didn't think that they'd find evidence against my client, which, let's face it, they probably will. Sure, no it's our job to keep that body in the ground. First, that means Terry Griffin's forensic expert, like Eric Turner, a new one. These are the thousands of autopsies he's done. Go through them. Find anything to discredit him. Also, come up with alternative theories for the marks on Lila's neck. Insect bites, abrasion from the water tank, anything that's not Rebecca's fingernails. Is it okay if I take a couple hours off on Wednesday? I just got a call to come in and interview with Sterling and White. Early? Isn't it a little early for summer associate interviews? I guess they start at the top of the class and work their way down. Just be quick about it. It's all hands on deck here. What an adorable setup. Uh-oh. Not you coming by the house. Oh, yeah. Speak of the devil and she shall appear. No need for pleasantries. We both know why I'm here. The city's medical examiner performed a standard autopsy the first time around. You don't want this motion going through any more than I do. The surprise of the unknown. The specter of new evidence undermining the prosecutor's well laid out case. You read my mind. What's that? A sealed file, Commonwealth v. Holden. It'll help you destroy Keegan's expert. Why not use it yourself? It'll also discredit about a dozen other convictions in the past five years, none of which happened under my watch, of course. Of course. You'll use it? I guess you'll see in court. Wow. Expert witnesses the are the dirty little secret us. of our justice system. It's legal to pay experts for their testimony. You show out enough cash and you can get them to say just about anything. Really? So you believe that the bruising pattern here points to hand size? Exactly. Someone with small hands. Thank you, Dr. Turner. Nothing further. How do you combat this corruption within the expert community? You impeach the expert's credibility. Pointing out <laughs> I'm sure she's going to post the statue. Grow shape, basically. Dr. Turner, 
Let's talk about Kareem you know Ruff trophy versus up. Holden. Like, a murder yeah, trial that this. you provided expert testimony at last year that helped convict the defendant. I have an internal report from the DA's office that questions the methods and conclusions of your work in the Holden case. Objection. Lack of foundation, Your Honor. I object as well. I haven't seen this report, but even if it checks out, it's hearsay. It falls squarely within the business records exception. So let's ask Dr. Turner if he was made aware of the report. Perhaps in the DA's office banned you as an expert witness because of your negligent work? Counsel Assuming is that's not evidence, Your Honor. Your Honor. Dr. Turner, were you aware such a report exists? Yes, Your Honor, but nothing further. <laughs> Next counter attack. Find an right expert about it to out expert your opponents. When you performed the original autopsy, what did you think the red marks on Lila's neck were? Freckles. Upon further research, I now think they're post-mortem bites from insects of the Culicity family. Is that possible, given that Lila Stangard's body was in a water tank for several days? That makes it even more likely. The Culex species thrives in water-based environments. Nothing further. There's one more way to block the motion. Convince Lila's parents to make a statement against the exhumation. You figure that out, and you'll get a reward better than a trophy. Ooh. No, you listen to me. You are a rat. You know who I could hire without having to give an interview? I thought you didn't hire first years. We don't, because they're never as smart as you. They love know, them so long. Let me, let me think about it. What's his name? A boy, is yeah. You know, just so you know, yeah. they, uh, they finally fixed the lock on my office door, so... Hey, what about measuring my nails to see if they match? They don't, we can do that whole, if the glove don't fit, you must equip thing. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, it's... Well, it's just the... Okay, that's a stupid idea. Never mind, I'll shut up. No, it's not a stupid idea. Don't patronize me. I mean, yes, I know what patronize means, fancy Ivy League boy. You think that I spend my whole time hanging around places like Middleton? Well, how would I know? You're like the most privatest person ever. I went to a community college then got a degree from a night school in Willowick. What the hell's that? Exactly. I'm just saying you can do something after this. It's not dealing drugs. I thought she was in college. What kind of the building office. they got him in? That's just the country's apartment first building? ex juvie drug dealer bartender. I thought they got housed him by the um, college. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Makes sense that he would. No, don't. Wouldn't want to be in all that debt. It's just I don't I didn't know Annalise's job paid. You should keep trying. <laughs> which I don't think it does, so I don't know where he gets money to pay for an apartment. I mean he could have took a loan out. But... I'll help get paid as well. I gotta go. Two oh three. Don't do anything until I'm back. Even if someone knocks, don't answer unless you know it's me. I'll let you know what to do as soon as we make a plan. Okay? He wanted to kill me. I had no other choice. I had to kill him or he was going to kill me. I saw the trophy sitting there. I hit him in the head. He deserves to die. And I'm Stop. glad he's dead. Right, what no. about him? Look, my trial's in a couple days. I'm already going to jail. And now you might too because of me. And I will kill myself what if that, that happens. Before the trial? So please, uh, please, just let me help you. Only Look how cold she right wasn't doing it. She might have killed Lila. I don't know. I'm not leave. I'll be back as soon as I can. Thank you for coming in, Miss Pratt. Sam was going to hurt You're her. Middleton, right? Sam yes. killed Lila. I was also accepted at Yale and Columbia. Yeah. But it's I thought that Sam was a better fit for the kind of hands-on well, education I wanted. Mm -mm, I don't uh -huh. think he did it. My he was a cheater, but now, to kill her, the what? He didn't really like her. No one but he's still a suspect, which is the least likely. You mean who referred me? I hate when this happens. <laughs> this is why you're here, Miss Pratt. We represent Robert and Mary Walker. You're marrying their son, Aiden. Is that right? Oh, uh, so her fiance set this, this up? This is a prenup. Oh. It's for your protection as well. <laughs> this ain't a real interview. No. Uh, <laughs> she did threaten to take everything from him if um, he turned out to like do. Hire you in the room? That's that is fine. Maybe you got in the room. Maybe if you stop stalking your ex online all day, you'd actually have some interviews of your own. I mean, that, that was a natural response from her fiance. You ain't finna take everything from me, regardless of why we break up. It's just the only thing about him is, it just, we haven't seen him be violent yet. Something Lila told you? Even in like intense debates with her, he hasn't even shown any tendency yes, to be violent. Yes, he did. Her parents. What did he do? Remember when he pushed her back? He was religious and pressured. I mean, but yeah, but he, he, was no, he just didn't want to leave. I mean, yeah, it was violent, but it wasn't crazy. You know what I mean? It was crazy. Maybe I misremember, but I just didn't 
say it whenever him. Like, <laughs> she didn't have to fuck him up. She thought we needed a woman's touch. I don't know. I won't rule it out, I'm just saying. I just, so far, I can't see him being each other, it cannot be this so violent you told me to back murder off somebody. Of your friends. This is high school. You know, if like he is so violent and so dangerous, how did a little girl kill him? Like, he, a whole grown ass man get murdered by what? A 20 year old? Is she? This is Lala Mom. Oh, cute puppy. What's his name? Mr. Chips. I've always wanted one like him. You work for that lawyer. I've seen you in court. Uh -huh. This is Stangard. Get away from me. Please, just. There's an ulterior motive to doing a second autopsy on Lila, one that helps Griffin. His lawyer's done this before. In three of his other cases, he exhumed his victims' bodies. And each time, his client went free. And if you let that happen again, the pain you and your family will endure as your daughter is pulled out of the ground, that will all be for nothing. Because this only helps Griffin. The idea of Lila on that table, I, I didn't want to think of what they did to her. But then we got to put her to rest. Finally. It looks like Laurel's gonna get the prize. And this man, which Frank, he pretends he wants sure to find the did. truth, which is a lie. He wants to confuse the evidence. I murdered my baby girl. So I'm begging the court, please. My little girl has been through enough. Just let her rest in peace. Not her trying to run away. I don't know. No. I know that was tough, but she said what we needed to block the exhumation. <laughs> she just looked a little guilty, don't she? She was my friend, okay? But you slept with her man. I don't care what that woman says. She was my friend, and... It's just weird because Looks nobody like else can get a reaction out of her. Like, no matter what Emily so said, she just straight face. She killed Who's Sam, straight coming? face. But now, she weeping in court? Something ain't right. And why he keeps you forgot his name and he's still in you? We have some sort yeah, of voodoo penis? Yeah. I'm so freaking mad I wasn't born gay. I don't know. I, I should just be saying shit. Julian, <laughs> here's what I think. There's a bar across the street. Let me buy you a drink, and if I prove worthy of your time, we move into dinner. So you also forgot that I have a boyfriend. You really don't remember shit about this, oh, this guy. This can't get any more embarrassing. <laughs> Relax. We'll head on Humper. I barely remember too. I'm gonna to make you remember. Guys, clearly a cheater. Ms. Parks, I understand you have a request. Yes, Your Honor. Given the conflicting testimony presented so far, I felt compelled to hire our own expert who came to the same conclusion that the red marks on the victim's neck are consistent with fingernail puncture marks caused by a woman. The hell are you doing? She played her. I would like to submit these signed affidavits into you. testimony. Your Honor, I find it very suspicious that Ms. Parks has suddenly changed your point of view on this motion. I had to, Your Honor. It would have been unethical not to report these new findings. Let's review the new evidence and adjourn until tomorrow. So we never had you outside. She had an ulterior motive. She needed to get old boy out the way, so she used you to do it. It was in everybody's best interest. Uh oh, Nate. Thank you for meeting me. He's trying to take you down. What do you mean? Wendy Parks told me about me today in court. Wendy Parks, let me write her name down. You want me to help you figure out why? It's not helping me, it's helping my client. You mean your husband? I know you're angry, and I understand that, but he didn't do it. You don't believe that? Unless you think... The client of Lila's phone in Griffin's car. Unless you think, um... Yeah. Rebecca's swearing that Lila was her friend, right? If she really thinks Sam did it, maybe she murdered Sam because she thought he murdered Because he said he was trying to kill her. That's what she said, but everybody lies. Don't forget that. I'm just saying, we can't take her word as law. We don't know this girl. And she's just, I don't know, she's just a little sus. I'm just saying, if Lila was truly her friend and she believed Sam killed her, she that would do be anything motive, to right? She's guilty of something. I don't know. She just a, a girl that just has done nothing don't get this deep in a murder case. It's just wow. My bad. Oh my gosh, she's so dumb. Hello. Nine one one. 
Okay. I'm sorry, this, this is Michael. Why would you do that? I mean, honestly, I just need to board her kids. Like Sound like she wanted to confess on. But you know, when you call and do stuff like that, they still gotta show up. Hello? It's me. Don't worry, it's a new phone. What are you doing? You should be cold. I've seen this one. to tell them we're taking care of it. They didn't want to at first, but I got them to go around. We're gonna protect you. You idiot. The fastest way to uncover someone's secrets, get their assistant to talk. Allie and the rest of the girls who work at the DA's office hang out at the Thirsty Whale. Go down there, flirt, to find out why she changed her mind on the motion. All right, so we find Allie and we pump her, so to speak. On it. Connor and Wes, you go too. What do I need them for? This works on women as well as men. He's right. I just, I need a little bit more time. Okay, I'll call you when I'm leaving. Yeah, sure, we'll talk about it then. I think we're gonna lose my case. That's why you're thinking of taking another job, right? So you don't go down with the ship. No, that's not... How did you know that I was Colin? And he wants to know if you're going to take the job at Legal Aid. And you haven't decided because either Colin. you actually like this weird little office or you just need to put a little distance between you and the hot ass and three pieces. Don't tell anyone. I haven't decided yet. Decided what? Nothing. She wants to leave and take a job with a boyfriend. <laughs> don't be an idiot. There are a million one Legal Aid commits and only one animal. I like drama. Okay, just don't... Tell anyone. Well, what if I do? She'll tell everyone your fiance wants you to sign a prenup. It was like sticking out of your bag. And he was We are not talking about this. Fine, as long as you don't talk about the con thing. You too. Deal? If both of you stop talking about me and Wes. Fine. I'm going to do that. So y'all don't talk about me, I'm going to talk about you. I actually just got out of a relationship myself. Oh, what was her name? Olive. Did she break Not all of this works. I, I actually cheated on her and she found out. So I know that I should apologize, but I, I mean, is there anything that I can actually say that, that, that'll fix it? I mean, I, I screwed up big time and he, she, she, Not he. she hates me. She so hates me. Totally wouldn't know to do the ladies. He's supposed to be getting information, but instead he's talking about his boyfriend. So get in there and shut him up. Oh, no. And Emily's finally lets us lose. I'm getting some tonight. I don't care. I don't know. You can give flowers. Friends get amnesia the minute you do that. Forgive you the world. I see no problem with my phone. Your number's not in it. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Natasha. Mm -hmm. Anyway, she attempts to the DA's office and said Wendy Parks and Keegan worked out a plea deal, but only if Parks supported the exhumation. So Griffin gets off if he testifies against Rebecca, and the DA gets a conviction. You two can go. Wait, don't we get a prize? She said leave. We could go to the judge, tell her there's been collusion between Parks and Keegan, they're supporting perjury, something. No, maybe there's another way. No. Oh. Like some sinister. So she can let him walk free just like that? How is that legal? The DA is allowed to offer whatever plea deal she wants to you or Griffin. The only way to stop that deal is to get her to rescind it. Why would she do that? She wouldn't. Unless we leak to the press something so deplorable about Griffin that it would make it politically impossible for her to move forward with the deal. There's a gag order. Yes. What if I leak it? <laughs> the judge will hold you in contempt. I can just say I don't know what a gag order is. But you do. Let my client speak for herself, Mr. Gibbons. Mm -hmm. Tell me again about the night you and Griffin slept together. They violated their own gag order. Your client is my client in the process. My client is 21 years old. She had no idea she was oh, disobeying the law when the journalists approached her. In a deliberate attempt to subvert the plea agreement, the DA offered my client. They made a plea deal? You know, you're full of crap, Miss Keating. Settle down, Mr. Keegan. Ms. Parks, you want a fair deal? <laughs> Due to Ms. Souter's <laughs> convenient accusation that it's Mr. O'Reilly so raped her, we have ceased conversation because about Because she plea. was afraid of public pressure. My client is entitled to that Snitched deal. Just yourself. like he was entitled to physically violate my client. Straight from the record. There is no jury here, Mr. Keegan. Ms. Keegan, I'm sanctioning you for the gag order violation. Now, regarding exhumation, given the numerous allegations of errors being made about the original autopsy, yeah, I'm granting the motion and ordering Miss Stangard's body be exhumed immediately. Uh, a new medical examiner of my choosing will be conducting a full external and internal second autopsy. Sealed reports will be delivered to all parties. 
I gotta hand it to you, the rape was a nice touch. That's what happens when you try and take the easy road. You don't care who killed Lila. You just thought it would be easier to convict the townie slut rather than the virgin quarterback. Or I just know your client did it. I'd say a prayer those aren't her nails on that poor girl's neck. Prayer is out for the week. I'll stick to beating your ass in court. <laughs> Prayers are for the week. Hey. I haven't heard it all. Wow, really? The silent treatment? Okay. You were such a guy right now, I'm actually kind of impressed. You think I've messed up? That's you. You're the one with no life. Otherwise, why get so obsessed with mine? Who made you this way? But was it your mom? Was she an alcoholic and you missed the drama? Did your dad hit her? What? I'm trying to help you. But if you don't want that, I'll stop. You can lie on the stand, call people rapists, whatever you want. Just don't say, I messed up because I wanted to help you. Don't kiss him that. Mm -hmm. I don't know about her. I don't want to judge her too harshly. But I don't know if this episode is really doing her any justice. This is the most we've ever really seen of her talking, doing things. Because she's just so all over. I mean, she's crying, she's confident, she's angry, she's lying, she's making accusations. I just, and this is like the creepiest love scene I've ever seen. You were born in Ohio. I gotta add West got a degree. Willowick's in Ohio. Looked it up. You don't seem very Ohio. So you do a smile on your face once. I wasn't born in Ohio. I was born in Haiti. My mom moved us here when I was one. I was the only black kid in our town. Everyone wanted me to be good at basketball, but I sucked. <laughs> I'm allergic to peanuts. I have a really bad sense of direction. My mom killed herself when I was 12. Eight superhero movies because they. Wow, his profile got a major update. Funny. Play, he's allergic to peanuts. I did. I messed up too. It sucked. Hi. Hey. Oh. Sorry, I, I, I used Your to. New boyfriend. Young guy that lived here. Oliver. He's in the shower. Goes for him? Uh. Awkward. I'll go. Connor, right? Never talked about you. Hey, I don't want to cause any trouble. I'm sure. Look, if you care about the guy at all, don't ever come back here. But we know he does. It's your last day, and I will say goodbye. Rebecca told me about you going to work at Legal Aid. Oh my God, I hate her. I'm considering going to Legal Aid. I haven't decided yet. This is about me being a jerk, because I'll stop. Don't throw away a great opportunity because of me. This one stupid kiss. That's it. Somebody in the bushes, I'll see. There's nothing else between us. You mean that? There's nothing? Of course I don't mean it. I think about you all the time. It's freaking annoying. Like but I'll get over it. So don't quit because of me. I'll be normal again soon. I promise. What if I don't want you to get over it? Mm -hmm. well, so you did say she was a cheater, right? Yep. What kind of comedian sort of that Mitch on the chip? Like her trying to buy what's his favorite ice cream? messed up. We don't know each other. He used to work with Philly PD. Name's Nate. So he's watching her. My boyfriend's in the car. No, you didn't kill that with Stan Guard. We both know who did. He set Sam up. Because he wants revenge. Ooh. I knew there was like another Jesus element to it. You're not going to solve anything tonight. Turn it on. Let's go. Rebecca as a weapon. It's funny. Sorry to bother you. Why do I live where I work? I just got a call from my contact at the medical examiner's office. The marks on Lila's neck weren't fingernails. They're ant bites. Well, that's good news. But. What else? They missed something in the first autopsy. Okay. Lila was six weeks pregnant. Um, How you miss that? A whole ass baby. Oh, I mean, I grew in it. It wasn't far along, but look. Better hope it wasn't yours. But that makes it even worse, especially if the public finds out. 
Oh, they're going to. Because they're going to get the paper when the mom comes in. But they're sealed. There's still a gag order, which means nobody's allowed to say anything oh, to the yeah. public. Oh, let me write this down because wild shit just happened, of course. So as usual, an astronomical amount of events <laughs> occurred in this episode. And I just went through like several pages of notes. Yeah. Um, so you go ahead and start I somewhere. I don't think we should do a recap. Let's just talk about what it was for these. Yeah. So, okay. Starting at the beginning of the episode. Yeah. The old girl was definitely had an ulterior motive. I think she still has one. I just had to come to show. Rebecca? We'll see that next episode. No, the girl in court. Or the woman in court. Yeah. Um, okay. Are you talking one. about the prosecutor? Yeah. Wendy. Yeah. Next one. Um, we know that the, the, um, the black dude that just talked to Rebecca. Nate. Nate. Okay. Yeah, he's definitely going to use her as a weapon. I think so. I think now... He he wants revenge on Annalise because she used him that and then he tried to help her and then he got fired and he's just taking all the blows and for whatever reason I think he does in his heart really really like Annalise but he's blaming this all on Sam she and it's crazy how this all got set up because Annalise brought it to Nate's attention Nate went and got the evidence and well at least some evidence that at least points him in the direction of being with Lila during this unknown gap of time. And he's convinced in his mind that it is Sam, just like Annalise kind of is too. She even refers to her husband as her client, but he's just not the one on trial or in the public face. She's trying to keep Sam out of that. So Nate's about to spill the tea to Lila, and not Lila, I'm sorry, Rebecca, and about Lila. And um, that I think is what's gonna put her on a, course to Sam and we she already kind of knows that um Sam and Lila were a thing because um the wallpaper it's in the fiasco and that was why she ran so this is gonna in her mind put even more um what not doubt but it's it's gonna put no doubt in her mind I think that Sam was the killer which is kind of what you're thinking, right? You really think Sam did it. Lila, and like I said, everybody lies. That was the first thing Annalise taught us. I think that was just a lie she told Wes. I don't think he attacked her. We just not have not seen him be that violent. He may have pushed Annalise or whatever on the bed, but it's not like he pushed her on the ground, made her bump her head and shit. He just was like trying to, you know, calm her down and stuff. Like he, I just don't think he's, I've seen violent. I don't think he's, that yet I just not from what I've seen I haven't I gotten enough evidence is. one of us is wrong one of us is right but regardless I don't think he killed Lila I think Rebecca enraged because she she swears Lila was her friend okay and she you know she got all this pressure on her she's the one that's going down for this I don't know what type of exchange of words her and Sam has and maybe he did do it and maybe she finds out and she murders him but I'm but I think this episode for sure just told us without a doubt that Rebecca is Sam's murderer and she was just so unapologetic about it. Like she was just a straight face. Wes just like, let me, let me grab you on, take you upstairs and clean her up. Somehow everybody else, I don't know if they was there, they walked in on it. They just let the girl beat him to death. Maybe he, they found out all together collectively that well, I don't know, because Rebecca was explaining what happened, so that makes me think that they weren't there. But uh, then how did they all get there late at night? And yeah. then he was like, He's I talked them into night. this. Like, I talked them into helping us. They're going to protect you. How would he talk them into this? Like, what? You get what I'm saying? Like, Connor yeah, already like, said a couple of ago, I didn't want to be in this situation. Michaela is like just so distraught. Like, I know she don't want to be in that situation. So they weren't so willing why... to put themselves in that position. Right. If they're not a part of it, then yeah, they're going to the police. But obviously they're a part of it somehow. Well, so now they're a part of it because they're burying a body. But I'm saying, what led them to even want to get involved with that? Like I said, I'm not getting involved with I think with they this. were involved with it from the very beginning. I don't know how, but... I don't know, we got to find out within this two weeks gap because, but there's something that compelled the five of them to jump on this and protect her. I get Wes just has some obsession with Lila, 
But the rest of them, like, they are so mad they're in that situation. And so much so that they know they're going to jail if they don't cover this up. Yeah, like, we, we all know like, West would bomb a bank for her or whatever. Like, I don't know. I don't know about everybody else. They, are, they value their reputation, so. And their futures. Like, I mean, they're all actively in this episode, except for Connor, trying to further themselves, you know, in the future. Like, looking for other jobs and things like that. Um, <laughs> Connor's looking for a new love life. Yeah, and well, not really a new love life. He's looking for his old one, but he's trying to remedy that pain he's feeling about losing Oliver. Um, Asher just literally living life, don't care about nothing. Um, and Frank, he he told Laurel, and he's been helping Laurel. He uh, took Laurel to Lila's mom to to do that deed because they at least said whoever did this get a, a prize greater than a trophy. And we think that's a job because if she gets a job, then she'll stay and he can work with his love. Um, but then they start making out so they like each other, whatever. We know Laurel likes to sleep with multiple people, so there's that. Michaela's fiance tried to trick her into signing a prenup. They said, oh, you got an interview with this famous law firm or whatever they were. And she, it was a prenup. I no, know she ain't no, signed No, they just said come to a famous law firm. Like, she assumed it was an interview then. Yeah. Whatever. So, um, so I doubt she's going to sign that. But I, it's also a little sus on her part because he doubled down on, no, 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 I, I'm, I'm straight and... I want to be with you, and but now you like, oh, when she threatened, she's like, I'm going to take everything you got if you lie to me and you mess up my life and embarrass me. And now he want to prenup. So she definitely about to go off next time she see him. Mm -hmm. um, they haven't even been talking for me. So. No, I think he lives in New York and she's mega busy. So and I doubt he's going to take <laughs> any calls right now. Um, yeah. So... I think, and maybe in that moment with Rebecca going back to her, how I said she was really cold and unapologetic and just so unemotional. We did see her later in the hotel room trying to call 911. Um, like she wanted to confess, but then she hung up the phone. So maybe she started feeling guilty later. Maybe she started really thinking about it. And it's like, well, what if I killed the wrong person? What if Griffin really did it? Or I'm, I'm not ruling Griffin out. I just think he's the least possible... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Culprit. Um, but they could throw a twist in there and was like, Sam's innocent. Y'all murdered an innocent person. Griffin really did it. I could see that happening too. I could see Sam actually did it. Rebecca murdered him after she found out. But I still don't understand why our Keating Five are involved other than Wes and Asher. Just don't know. <laughs> but all I do know I, is... I wonder if it's baby it is. That too, that's another factor. So, just so many different moving parts. We just gotta you keep going. I mean, we're two weeks away from the murder. So, I either in the next episode or the one after that, unless, because we've been skipping weeks, you know what I mean? We started off three months, now we're two weeks away. Unless they start going day by day to slow up the process, we're getting to it pretty quick. But I, I imagine... Once we get to a week, they're going to start doing it day by day. So that'd be annoying. But um, <laughs> it also, I mean, I feel like before the end of the season, we need to get to the murder and then start from where we started the show off. Like we started the show with the murder. We need to get a full picture of everything in sequential order. And then we need to go to like how we're going to actually handle that, the conclusion. So far, they're just showing us parts of them covering things up and parts of the conversation and showing us different angles. But we still need to see how things play out, what Annalise is going to say. What Bonnie, how Bonnie's gonna react, where Frank is, and all this, um, you know, chaos, and what they're just gonna do. Asher knows his trophy's missing, so he's gonna still be in play. But he's a little distracted right now, but I mean, he's literally right next to Bonnie, and I'm sure she's gonna have to leave abruptly. And he, I'm sure he's gonna have some questions, um, especially considering he works there, so he's gonna be involved regardless. Just a lot, y'all. Uh, I don't think I have anything else I really want to mention. You need to start writing on back of pages. I will when I finish the page. Oh. Like, this will be a continuation of Annalise. This will oh, be a okay. continuous. I thought it was an episode. Mm -hmm. No, I leave space for to continue writing notes. Um, right. But that's all I got, you guys. I think we mentioned just about everything.
So thank you guys for watching. Of course, you want to hear what you guys thought. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel for more. And we'll see you guys for more How to Get Away with Murder. Bye.